Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Hope you guys are doing well on this Friday night. Tonight's video is going to be the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks 2021 predicted team. Now, last night I did the Sydney Roosters 2021 predicted team list and along with the full reserve players. If you haven't checked that video out yet, go make sure you go and check it out. So tonight I'm doing the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks 2021 predicted team. Before I get into tonight's video, I just want to let you guys know there will be another video coming out tonight. It's going to be about the Bulldogs, so I thought I'd let you guys know about that. It's a video about what the Bulldogs are lacking to um, be a premiership contender. I've had a couple of people message me and they really want me to do that video, so that will come out tonight as well. But tonight's the, at the moment, we're going to be doing the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks 2021 predicted team. Like always... We'll go through the 1-17, to we'll talk about the reserves, and I'll explain what, why I've got players in all these positions. So, let's go through it. The Cronulla Sharks, 2021, predicted team for 2021. Fullback, Matt Moylan. On the wings, Sione Katoa and Ronaldo Malatalo. In the centres, Josh Dugan and Jesse Ramian. In the halves, the 5'8", Sean Johnson. The halfback, Chad Townsend. The front row of Aaron Woods and Braden hemlin Ueli. The hooker is Blake Braley. The second row is Sia Sufa Talakai. The other second row is the captain, Wade Graham. And the lock is Toby Rudolph. And on the interchange bench, it is Andrew Fafita, Aidan Tolman, Royce Hunt, and Britton Nokore. And on the four reserves in case of injury and suspension... I have gone with Jack Williams, Connor Tracy, William Kennedy, and Billy Magulius. And obviously the coach is uh, John Morris, as we all know. Now look, obviously I've got Matt Moylan at fullback. Now this was very tough. A lot of people would go with Will Kennedy, but Matt Moylan is expected to be fit and ready to go for round one. And to be honest, out of all of the Sharks' uh, best 1-17s for this year, I think Matt Moylan still... Has the edge over Will Kennedy. Will Kennedy is a, a fine young player, but Matt Moylan's got experience at fullback. He's got all the good attributes to be a good fullback, and hopefully his hamstrings can stay fit, and hopefully he can stay fit himself. So I feel like Matt Moylan suits the, suits the Sharks team a bit better than Will Kennedy. But if you had Will Kennedy, I, I couldn't argue with you, but I've got Matty Moylan at fullback. The wingers, well, they pick themselves, don't they? Sione Katoa and Ronaldo Malatalo. Two fantastic young wingers coming through the NRL. They're both outstanding when they are scoring in the corner. When, is a, when, they, when they get the ball on the wing and they're getting close to that corner, it's either they're going to do a spectacular corner try or they're going to do something amazing to score that try. But Katoa and Malatalo, they're no-brainers. The centers, Dugan and uh, Jesse Ramian. I thought Josh Dugan had a pretty good year last year and He's been around for a while, Josh Dugan. Plenty of experience, and he, he knows how to do the job well in the centers. So I think Josh Dugan is a no-brainer. He makes the centers. Along with Jesse Ramian, he probably needs to try and get more involved. I think he would be a better play if he got more ball. Maybe give him some runs or tackle one or tackle two. Just get him more touches and get him more in the game. But he, he, obviously, he makes the, makes the centers. The halves, Sean Johnson and Chad Townsend. I know Sean Johnson's out for the first six to eight weeks of the season, but when he comes back, he'll definitely be in this team, and um, he's one of the best players in the Sharks' side, so he's in the 5'8 position, along with the halfback, Chad Townsend. Now, I could be tempted to put Braden Trindle or Connor Tracy in here, but Chad Townsend, you know, he's won a premiership at the Sharks as a halfback, and I think he needs, needs to do a little bit more for the Sharks. He needs to, to do a bit more game management, and Probably just take more control of the side and just be a bit better. But Chad Townsend, is, he's a fine player, but he just needs to show more consistency, in my opinion. Uh, the front row of Aaron Woods and Braden hamlin Ueli. Aaron Woods, I know I know a lot of people give him crap, and I'm one of them. I'm not a big fan of Aaron Woods, but he's experienced. He does a job. He, he always plays well, and he, he's a no-brainer. He makes a side here, without a doubt. Along with the other front rower, Braden hamlin Ueli, hamlin Ueli, man, what a player he is. He is a player to watch out for this year. I think he may have a huge season this year. He's a, he's a, he's a try-scoring front rower, 
and he always does a great job. So he's a no-brainer in this team. The hooker is Blake Braley, a fine young player. Probably needs more time in first grade to become a better player. Probably isn't rated any, anywhere near the best hookers in the game, but he's a fine young player, and hopefully he um, just keeps on improving this year. So I've got Blake Braley at hooker. The back row of uh, Talakai and Wade Graham. Now, a lot of people would say Britton Okora over Talakai, but here's the thing. I feel like the back rowers at the moment, if you get big back rowers who've got plenty of skill and they can bend the defensive line, Talakai is the sort of bloke where you're giving the ball on an edge. He's going to worry the half. The back row is going to be a little bit nervous. The center on the outside and the wingers, they're not sure whether to come in. Talakai intrigues defenders everywhere he goes on the edge. So I feel like Talakai has got more of an attacking threat than Britton Nakora. But if you had Nakora over, over Talakai, I couldn't argue with you. But I feel like Talakai deserves to start after last year. He had a fantastic year last year. Hopefully he can back it up. Along with the captain, Wade Graham. He's had a few injuries the last couple of years, Wade Graham. But when he's on the field, he's so influential as the way how as how the Sharks go. So Wade Graham, he is the captain. And he is probably the first bloke picked in this side. What a player he is. Along with the lock, Toby Rudolph. I mean, this guy last year came on the scene as a fantastic bench player. But I think he deserves to start lock now for the Sharks. Did a great job last year. And I'm a big fan of Toby Rudolph. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes this year. So he makes the side. And on the bench... I've, got, I've gone with four forwards. Andrew Fafita, he's lost about 13 kilos. Hopefully, he can stay injury-free. Hopefully, he, um, he has a big year, Andrew Fafita. I think he makes the bench for experience, impact, and I think the bench for Andrew Fafita right now is probably his best spot. Along with Aiden Tolman, another hard, tough player. A lot of people give Aiden Tolman a lot of criticism, but here's the thing. Aiden Tolman's the sort of bloke where you give him the ball, he'll go out there, he'll do a job for you, He's not the sort of forward that he'll get. He won't get. You, he won't get you 200 metres a game. But what he'll do, he'll provide experience. He'll help the young players like Toby Rudolph and Royce Hunt and Talakai and all these sort of kids. But Aiden Tolman, his experience, he will do a job for you, and he makes the bench for sure. Along with Fafita, the other two fours I got, Royce Hunt. He's a he's a player of the future. He's looking he's looking the goods. Royce Hunt, big fan of his game. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes this year. So he makes a bench. And the last player I got is Britton Nakora. Britton Nakora, a fantastic young player. I think Nakora and Talakai will probably share the back row together. I think they'll, they'll probably both play like one will play 30 minutes, the other will play like 45 or something. But they're both they're both fantastic young players. And I got Britton Nakora on the bench. And now I get to the reserves. Now these players for mine. I think all four of these players will definitely play a fair bit of first grade this year, but I think they miss out on the 17 at the moment, but not by a whole lot. First player, Jack Williams, played it, played a, a lot of lock last year, did a pretty good job, played all right. I think he's a player that will be 18th man most weeks, and I think he's a good player of the future, Jack Williams, so I've got him as 18th man, along with Connor Tracy, probably the backup half if someone went down, you know, if Moylan or... Johnson or Townsend were out. I think Connor Tracy would come straight into the side. Even if Blake Bradley went down, he'd probably come into the side as a utility player. Along with the other outside back, I've got Will Kennedy. Again, if there's any injuries in the outside backs, Will Kennedy will probably be the guy to come in. So I've got Will Kennedy in the reserves. And the last player i got is a guy that didn't really get much game time last year. And we all thought he would have. It's uh, Billy Magulius. Now, Billy Magulius... There's talk of him going to the Dragons, but I don't know what the go is with that. But at this stage, he's playing for the Cronulla Southern Sharks. And I, I hope Billy McGillius gets more time in first grade this year. He didn't get much last year. And at the moment, I got him on the reserves. But hopefully, he gets more time in first grade. But anyway, guys, that's my Cronulla Sharks 2021 predicted and best team for them. I wish the Cronulla Sharks all the best for 2021. Hope you have a smashing season. But anyway, guys... That's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. The um, next video I do will be out tonight. It should be out around 8.30 or something. Anyway, guys, until then, stay tuned, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.